whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Protecting the community against crime, one of the most hazardous assignments law enforcement agencies are called upon to carry out is the capture of an escaped convict. Because the convicted criminal at large is often incorrigible, always desperate. In this case, convict Niles Brandon killed a guard and escaped from the state penitentiary. In 12 hours, he had stolen a car, armed himself, and traveled more than 200 miles. But 200 miles was not enough to ensure his desperate bid for freedom. He knew as well as anyone the efficiency of the highway patrol, that his trail had probably already been picked up. He was now close to the one person who could help cover the trail and complete his escape, his wife. Don't act so surprised, baby. You must have read about me in the paper. Now, look, you'll be at the restaurant in the park with a change of clothes for me, like I told you. Come alone, baby. Don't be late. <laughs> As Niles Brandon completed his first contact with his wife, the highway patrol was picking up the pieces of his trail. That pawnbroker's description was kind of sketchy. Now, if Brandon did this... He's working his way south. It's going to be into this area right here. He's on himself, too, huh? Yeah, he has. We just located his wife. She's at this address in Kimball. Still married to her? Yeah. Verification just came in. According to prison records, his wife hadn't seen him in the last two years. Well, things don't look too good, do they? No. Maybe that's why he broke out. Brandon doesn't care that much about anybody. He probably wants to see his wife. He's hungry for help. If he is, he's going to head south right into this area. Go over and have a talk with her. Right. Now, take a look at this. 293172. These highways, they're all covered. Yeah, and the whole area is loaded with farms and laced with back roads. We haven't got the cars to spare. Wait a minute. Maybe he's not on the highway. He could have hopped a freight. Have the boys check the railroad just in case. Right. Send Thompson in, will you? Yes. Hello. I'm Sergeant Walters, Highway Patrol. Are you Mrs. Brandon? Why, yes. Well, you may be able to help us, Mrs. Brandon, if you can answer a few questions. Questions? About what? I haven't done anything. May I come in? Well, yes. All right. Is there anyone else here? No. Right this way, Sergeant. Thank you. It's about your husband, Mrs. Brandon. Well, there must be some mistake, Sergeant. I don't have a husband. He's dead. He died three years ago in, in, in an accident. Well, I can't blame you for not wanting to admit that your husband's a convict. If this accident story is what you tell your neighbors here in Kimball, that's your business. Mine is to find out where Brandon is, and I need your help. When was the last time you saw Niles, Mrs. Brandon? I don't remember. Well, we know that you saw him in state prison two years ago. Have you seen him since then? No. Have you heard from him? No. Has he tried to get in contact with you in the last 12 hours? No, no. I haven't seen him or heard from him since that day in the prison. That was the last time I ever wanted to see him. Now, please, go away and, and leave me alone. Mrs. Brandon, if I did that, I wouldn't be doing my job now, would I? I don't understand what you mean. You're not telling me the truth. You know, when a man breaks out of prison, he's only got two alternatives. Either he commits a chain of crimes and leaves a trail a mile wide, or he gets somebody on the outside to help him. Money, clothes, someone to travel with him in front for him. Now, he's headed this way, and I think that someone's you. I think he's contacted you, and I think you ought to tell me about it. Look, he's already killed a guard. He's beaten up a pawnbroker, and he's got a gun. You're next, Mrs. Brandon. We both know that. 
Yes. About an hour ago. Where was he? I don't know. It was a local call. I'm supposed to meet him. Where? At the restaurant in the park. About five miles from here. I'm to be there at two o'clock. May I use your phone? Yes. Highway Patrol. Matthews. Oh, how'd it go, Sergeant? Well, we better put a stake out there. Could the place use a gardener? All right, fine. You stay put. I'll be right out there. Right. I'll get it. All right. Put it away. This is Brandon. This is Mr. Matthews. Thanks for your help, Miss Brandon. Please don't thank me. I hate being a stool pigeon. I wish you wouldn't think about it. Believe me, you're not a stool pigeon. Is there another name for it? Yeah, citizen. You don't look like the kind of a person who would get mixed up with Brandon. I didn't know he was a criminal when I married him. When I found out, well, I was a girl in love. And now? No more. In the three years he's been in prison, it's all over. But I'm still married to him. And even the law doesn't ask a wife to testify against her own husband. If you're married to a criminal without knowing it, you have a right to an annulment. And marriage hasn't helped him. Take a look at what he's facing. He's got a murder rap against him. Don't waste your loyalty. Do you know that restaurant? Yes. Do you remember exactly what Niles said when he telephoned? Not word for word. I was just too frightened to think. All I know is I'm supposed to drive over there at 2 o'clock with money and clothes for him. I'm supposed to be alone and not be late. I see. Anything else we need? No, that covers it. Where's your car? In the garage. All right, leave it there. We'll keep the appointment for you. And don't worry. There'll be an undercover man with you all the time. Undercover man? I, I don't understand. Your new gardener. You just stay in the house and don't worry about anything. Not even your garden. Who knows? Maybe he's got a green thumb. Come on. Should be set up by 1.30. That gives us a little more than an hour. So we're on the next turn. You want me to slow down as we go by? No, you keep rolling. I'll see enough. Telephone booth. How about a man cleaning up around the place? That's an idea. What's inside? Oh, nothing much, if I remember right. Short order cook and a counterman handle it. Well, we can do without the cook. Can you dish up a blue plate special? Sure. You gonna eat it? I hope I haven't got the time. <laughs> Look, you get the civvies. I'll get everything else set and meet you on the edge of town with the undercover car.
he spotted us? I don't know. There's a lot of things to do to lady. Let's wait and see. This is just the beginning. Where's your cash? What was that? Get it. Oh, no. You're coming with me. No. I can use no. you. Oh. Help. Stop it. What? No. Stop it. All right, get in there. Observe the speed limits and drive carefully. But don't waste any time. We've got a long way to go. Patrolman waited for him at the restaurant in the park. Niles Brandon, the escaped convict and killer, had once again eluded the law and gained a measure of safety by forcing his estranged wife to accompany him in his desperate bid for freedom. The police came right after you called, Niles. They started watching the house. I couldn't leave to get the clothes or anything. I couldn't warn you. There was no way of meeting you. Okay. Maybe I'll buy that. But how'd they find out about the park restaurant, babe? Did they? You're not sure. You said yourself it looked like a stakeout. In my spots, you learn to smell a trap. You don't wait to have it sprung on you. But now, as you said yourself... Ah, skip it. I had a tough time getting out and a tougher time getting this far. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Don't push me, kid. Where are we going? I haven't decided yet. Look, we need gas. The next station becomes too slow down. I'll tell you if it's okay to pull in. Park restaurant. I'll take it, Sergeant Walters. When did it happen? How bad is he? Well, sit tight. We'll be right there. Thompson's been shot. Let's go. still here. Well, judging from things inside, you didn't have time to pick up a toothbrush. Any leads? Nothing. Hey, take a look at this. Let me see. Brandon must have used it to hide his gun. He must have plugged Thompson the minute he spotted him. Yeah, and a 45 hits like a sledgehammer. Thompson's lucky to be alive. Let's see how Mrs. Brandon's looks holding. Slow down, there's a gas station. But remember, I've gone all the way. Another killing won't cost me a thing. You say one word to tip off that attendant, he gets it for sure. Hiya, folks. Fill it up, please. Yes, ma'am. Each of a day, isn't it? What? I say it's a nice day. Knock it off. Check that oil and water? Uh no, no, never mind. Okay. Tell him we're in a hurry. Say, don't bother with that. We're, we're in sort of a hurry. 
Oh, sure thing. It'll be 520, ma'am. Thank you. Credit card? Wait, why'd you do that, you crazy? I always use my credit card. I just if didn't... If he think that... connects my name with that, he's dead. There you are. Sign here, please. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Thank you. Just a minute, man. Something wrong? Boy, I, I just saw you got your skirt caught in the door here. Oh, yes, thanks. Thanks very much. Okay. Highway Patrol. Hurry! Some jerk at that gas station. This guy's service you to death. Let me have your purse. My purse? Well, what do you want? Give it here! Seven bucks. Is that all you got? Not as I told you, I didn't get a chance. How a chance have we got on 47 bucks? You're not being much help, kid. At least you can get me some food. Stop the next open stand where I can keep an eye on you. Where do you put them? Well, not more than nine miles past the gas station where we got the gas. Yeah, that's what I figure. 2150 to 3016. This is 3016. What's your 1020? Traveling north on 55, about two miles south of the junction with 29. Go to the junction, establish a roadblock. Suspect believe headed your way on 29. 10 4? 10 4. On, step on it, will you? Roadblock. What do we do? Don't try to run it. Turn around now. Thirty sixteen to twenty one fifty. Twenty one fifty by. A car answering the description of the suspect's car just avoided my roadblock. If you turn and head back toward Cooper Road. You maintain your roadblock. I'll pursue. Ten four. Ten four. Police car? No, it ain't. I know it's cops. Maybe we can check. I wish we had him on an open road. What's the matter? You getting old? Back on it. Some distance, they're still coming. Can't outrun them in this. All right, listen. 
When we come to the next crossroad, you stop. I'll get out and hide. And when the patrol comes, you tell them that I, I grabbed a farmer and I had a pickup truck. You tell them I went down one of the crossroads. You send them on a wild goose chase, baby. And then we can backtrack and get out of here. No, I can't. Do like I tell you. And if you lie to them real good, baby, if they don't bite, you'll be first. Remember that. Right here. Stop here. Don't forget what I told you, baby. Gone. Gone where? He he stopped a farmer, a, a man in a pickup truck. Just somebody passing by. Yes. Niles ran out of our car and, and ran over to this farmer and threatened him with his gun and, and made him drive him away. So you just stopped the car and waited? Oh, oh, oh no, I well I had to stop, you see. I ran out of gas. Oh. Mrs. Brandon, do exactly what I tell you. Get out of this car into the other one. Move fast. It's all yours. I'll take care of Mrs. Brandon. Right. Is he dead? Yes, I'm sorry to say he is. I don't know why I'm crying. He, he, he was so bad. You're crying for what might have been. When you feel better, you'll know this was the only finish. Slide over, I'll drive you home. Next week's Highway Patrol story is a very unusual one. I hope you'll be with us. Until then, remember, it isn't the car that kills, it's the driver. This is Bradrick Crawford saying, see you next week.